is uh, let me present my project on image classification using artificial neural network. The scope of this presentation includes um, image classification using some neural network models and also transfer learning. And I'll end with some business application of uh, image classification. I started with a simple neural network which has three classes. The data set is from Thai Image Search. Um, there are total about 3,000 images, 1,000 for each class of cat, dog, and panda. I trained the model, it doesn't take a long time, it's only four minutes, and achieved an accuracy of 61%, and I'm ready to test the model. So I feed these images to the model, and the simple neural network model is able to classify them correctly. For example, it's very sure that this is a 58% sure that this is a panda, and because they have legs, so there could be a small chance that it could be a dog or a cat as well. So I start to be adventurous, I tried these images, however the simple neural network model is unable to classify them correctly. So I tried the CNN uh, model, and the CNN model was able to make the correct uh, classification. So I explored further with these images, and CNN model is known to be good at image classification and it was able to classify them correctly. So what is the CNN model? CNN stands for Convolutional Neural Network, which I explored using the FIFA 10 dataset. There are 60,000 images uh, in 10 classes, ranging from airplane, car, bird, etc., to ship and truck. And because there are so many images, it took me about four hours to train them and achieve an accuracy of 75%. And I was ready to test the model. The, in general, that it's predicting pretty well most of the time. Like for example, this is an airplane. The model is 72% uh, sure that this is a ship, and this is a deer, and this is a horse. And the horse may have some features of the deer, so the, the model has picked up certain features, so there's a probability as well. But according to highest uh, prob probability, this is a horse. And next, I explored on a bigger data set of over a million uh, images. Uh, um, however, with this, so many images, it will take me a long time to train. So I used a method called transfer learning using the VG16 data set. It has got 1,000 classes, ranging from animals to things to, to food. And transfer learning is a method of learning without reinventing the wheel. So I feed these images to the, to the model. These are pretty simi similar images, but the model is able to identify them according to their breed, individual breed. This is a reverse eagle, but previously we input the, the breed and then we see how, how it looks like. Now we have an image and the model is able to tell us the breed. For example, the hush puppy dog has got very unique features, so the model is also very confident uh, in classifying them. How about these uh, vehicles? These images are taken from Singapore, and the model has no problem identifying them. <coughs> and objects, um, the model is able to identify the street signs and traffic lights pretty well. There are many applications uh, to image classification. For instance, we can develop an app for bird enthusiasts to identify the breeds of the birds. Or coastal surveillance, identifying floating objects, whether it is a floating log or an illegal immigrant trying to cross over. Medical uh, anomaly detection can also be done. And uh, autonomous vehicle will be interesting to explore. Uh, so the vehicles can identify surrounding objects. <coughs> it is critical uh, in a near accident situation that the vehicle should steer away from people and, and objects. <coughs> My model currently is unable to identify people, not yet, but I've got classmates who have done people detection, so I can get the pre-trained models from them, which you will see in the next 